15 hits, four home runs from the offense. What stands out to you about their performance tonight? Uh, again, just the quality of at bat throughout the lineup. And, you know, that's something that <clears throat> these guys are capable of when, when we're whole and healthy and, and locked in like they are. Um, they just made it real tough. You know, Snell's, Snell's tough, man. He's hard to hit. And, uh, but I think, you know, he felt the weight of everything, of the grinded out at bats and making it difficult. And, and eventually we were able to really break through and um, just, just a lot of quality at bats against a team that really pitches well. John Carlos Stanton just mentioned that if a guy gets it done in front of you, it's even extra motivation to get it done as well. Do you sense that they're feeding off of each other as an offense? I, I do. I just, I, I just think they're really focused, um, you know, and, and absolutely. Uh, you know, I think they have a lot of faith and a lot of trust in, in each other and know that they're up there to – to make it difficult on the pitcher. And again, that doesn't always mean you get on or you or you get a hit or whatever, but if you can, you know, make it heavy for the opponent, um, you know, eventually one of our guys more often than not will get you. And what did you think of Cole tonight? I thought he was good. I you know, I thought he really grinded. Um, you know, he had to work hard a couple of those innings and made some huge pitches, you know, I think in the fifth there, obviously getting out of a huge jam. Um, really stepped on it, and I think kind of emptied the tank a little bit in the six. Um, but you know, he he just pitched again. You know, gave up the two-run homer there. You know, obviously Arosa Reina hit a couple balls hard off him too with the homer also. Um, but he, I thought he made a lot of big pitches and kind of grinded his way and, and set a good tone for us. Brendan, cut to you. The next question. Aaron, you've been hearing for days about the raised record against you guys this season. Do you feel like you guys made a statement tonight? It's one game. We got to win three. Uh, we know we've got a. We know they're they're a great team and a great opponent, and we know we got to play our best to beat them. Um, so I, no, I don't think there's any statements or anything like that. Um, we got to win two more, and 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 that's going to be a challenge, and and we're excited for that challenge, though. Ken David, up you have the next question. Aaron, you just said well, we got to play our best to beat them. Do you feel like these last three games, given the, the quality of the opponent and the stakes, have been your your best baseball all season? Um, yeah, there's no question. The guys have really played well. You know, they they and a lot of big pitches, a lot of big defensive plays, big at bats in the critical times of the game, and obviously with with the whole lineup kind of work working well together we've been able to you know really break through eventually like we did tonight where it was a grind there for you know six or seven innings so um i think the guys are are really focused and uh hopefully we can we can continue it tomorrow thanks Aaron. bruce beck you have the next question aaron how do you feel for john carlo who has struggled over the past couple of seasons but had that big postseason moment tonight I mean, he's, he's struggled just because he hasn't been healthy. Um, I feel great for him because I know, you know, this is what I envisioned for him last year. I felt like he was in such a good place from his at-bats. We saw it again this year um, and now carrying it into, into the postseason. You know, he's... He's such a dangerous hitter in the middle of our lineup, and I just feel like his at-bat quality, when he came back off the IL, picked right up, and then he had a few games there where he scuffled a little bit, but then got right locked back in in the playoffs. And, and I just feel like when he's when he's controlling the strike zone, he's as deadly as anyone. Thank you. Next one to Bob Clappish. Hey, Aaron. I'm curious about one thing, almost as a, as a side note. After Stanton's Grand Slam, Curtis came up and in on Geo and Glaber. I'm just wondering if, if you made a mental note of that or no. just let it go. No, just no. no. There's no time for We're just trying to put our best foot forward. So, no, there, I, I didn't take anything away from that. Okay. Next one to Stephanie Epstein. Aaron, uh, if you had off days in during this series do you think you might have been more tempted to take Cole out when he ran into trouble in the fifth 
No. No. We'll try and get to the remaining questions in queue. Next one to Mike Vaccaro. Aaron, how happy are you for, uh, for uh, Frazier to seize the moment the way he did tonight? He's answered the bell every at every turn this year. You know, obviously to start the year a few games into the season, the disappointment of going down. But again, the the focus, the work, the professionalism he's been able to show earned his way back, earned at bats when he got here. Um, you know, and then, you know, is a big reason why we're in the postseason and doesn't start the first two games, gets his opportunity tonight and and yeah, I, I He's answered the bell at every turn, and I'm just really proud of how he's handled things. Um, you know, showing himself to be a real pro. Next one to Brian Hook. Aaron, as a former third baseman, what do you think of the postseason Geo's having that throw he made from uh, the seat of his pants there? He's so good. He's so good over there. Um, I mean, it's just kind of. Uh, I. You know, I mean, there are probably three really good plays he made tonight, and um, he's a lot of fun to watch play the position, and and a lot of fun to watch play the game the way he plays it with, with kind of this joy that that's infectious. Could you have made that play? <laughs> I could have. It doesn't mean I would have. <laughs> <laughs> 